Just as the old workshop that Evaldi spoke of. I should check if it's already here. Useless. Found anything worthy of your talents? <sighs> this will have to do. Soon you can put them to good use. By Emir, is that a... a Salakar? I never knew they actually existed. I know all the Sarkis of your people, yet I've never heard... I never said my people. You mean the Light Elves? There aren't many who remember the Children of Light or their stories. I do. When Sutter invaded their lands, they begged me for eat. The war with the Vanya had only just ended, and I was... ...wary. Long after, I learned how Sutra devoured the Elves in mortal light, Uga by Uga. Maybe it's the same light that now allows him to renew himself after death. During the conquest, he must have uncovered knowledge of the Salakars. But to what end? What Hugers does it hold? Those of two warlords, one a Muspel, the other a Jotun. Nothing more? Nothing more. At least not of value. He speaks the truth. You deal with a fire nymph? A fire nymph? I am the finest fire nymph in all of Spartalheim. Allow me to introduce Asa, treasonous daughter of Sutra, and my friend. You grow dewy-eyed in your dotage. What have you unearthed? Only rumors. My father is rebuilding something large and powerful, though its exact nature I cannot fathom. And the Salakar is intended to be part of this... this something. Most likely. Either way, its value to my father is so great, he may indeed trade your son for its return. Return to your stepmother. Arrange a trade. And one more thing. I would feel better knowing you are protected. Sinmara travels far and wide. But I will rejoin her as you wish. Whatever the Salakar is, I must steal it back once Baldur is safe. Why? Ragnarok comes. I've made plans, but they are not ideal. Perhaps the Salakar offers another way. One that will allow me to truly save those I care about. Even you. Mm, to unlock its secrets, I will need help. There are rumors of a shelter nearby. Its dwellers may be able to assist me. Oh, I know the place. Home to the most ill-tempered shits imaginable. Tell them I sent you. No dwarf would give up the chance to work with Ivaldi. Vangrin was once home to your rivals, Sindri and Broker. Your name may not carry much weight here. Don't make me laugh. No one cares about those two. I'll follow you once I've finished taking what I need. I will need help if I am to study the Salakar.
to make them talk. Please, leave us alone. Here to help? Some of my uh, attractive uh, wares. Everything is half the price of yesterday. Half the price? That seems generous. Well, I doubled the prices yesterday to make a profit, but nobody bought anything. So, half the price today. You haven't been doing this very long, have you? It's my second day. Goodbye for now. Greetings, dwarf. I am Harvey of the Asia. Ah. You're not one to waste words, friend. I wish there were more like you.
Let's talk again soon. He's killing me. I'm sure I know you. Is that from an accident? Oh. Can't you see I'm busy? <sighs> Charming. I do not take kindly to being interrupted. A word, my friend. Evil D requests your aid. <laughs> Ain't my concern. Go talk to Augler. He's the master of this workshop? Master? <laughs> nah, boy, he's chief when the masters ain't here. Strange. I just spoke to that fellow. Do I look like I got time for small talk? Here to lend a hand. You are always talking. Hello there. I bring word from Ivaldi. What do I care? Go talk to the ganger. Ganger? Yeah. The chief. Name's Oakler. I sometimes think Reda makes these up just to keep us all busy. You'll be back, and there will be more contracts waiting. Is that possible? Why are you here? Goodbye for now. Go away. We're all out. <laughs> Let's talk again soon. Malediction. Here to lend a hand? Looking good. Look around you, Aesir. All the treasure a heart could want, but not a scrap of food for the belly. What good is a thing if it makes no one happy? All that counts are people in the end. What was this? A treasury. When the invasion began, they sent warriors to guard it. Our leaders would rather protect their wealth than our lives. And we followed, seeking protection. And so we are here. All the wealth we could wish for, yet hungry and miserable still. Keep well. Nice to see you. What do you want? Evaldi sends me. He requires the help of a skilled artisan. A meeting of minds, huh? Well, it ain't up to me. You'd best talk to Brokkir or Sindri. They still breathe? Where are they? 
No idea. Sindri went off adventuring. He does that. Mind you, it's been a while since he left. How much of a while? Couple of weeks. And his absence doesn't worry you? Not my business where he goes. And Broker? Went to look for Sindri. <laughs> Bit of a worry guts, that one. Ever since he mucked up the forging of Mjolnir. Anyway, look. Leave your name and I'll pass it to Broker when he shows up. Tell him Harvey of Asgard was here. Harvey of... By Ymir? Really, it is you? I'll return tonight. In the meantime, fetch Ivali. He's at the old workshop ruins. Feed it to my swine. Is that an assie? What do you want? You know how it works. Fix a problem for Reda, get a reward. Only everyone was as motivated as you. You don't belong here. Talk again soon. Three times it stung me. Three! On the hand, then the neck, all in on my eyeball! A true master would ignore such trifles. Trifles? That gadfly was the size of a squirrel! A big one! An ogre could tear me limb from limb, and still my severed hands would finish the job. That is focus. That is passion. That is horseshit. Master Broker, 
I'm glad you have made it home. And your brother? Did you find him? Yeah. You never did say where he was. I believe Sindri went adventuring. Adventuring? No, no, that's not it. He went to find the special mead. Had a hankering, he said. Special mead? Yeah, the special mead. Sutumbu's special mead? What's that frosty ass got to do with it? We ain't in Jotunheim in case you hadn't noticed. Well, there's this mead they make down at the brewery. So sweet, it can... Uh, it can... Uh, well, it's bloody sweet, all right? Anyway, Sindri had an itch for it. Just a horn or two, he said. So, off he goes. That was half a moon ago. I told him not to do it. Too many giants out there, but he wouldn't listen. Uh, him and his cravings. Where can I find this brewery? Aethorpe, southeast of here, other side of the marsh. Can't miss it. You're going to rescue him? I will find him, yes. And afterwards, you and he will repay me by helping Ewaldi with the job that he'd done. Now, hold on. We didn't, uh... Good, good. We have a deal. That gadfly? It was Loki. Thor himself could not have withstood the sting. What do you want? Is it too much to ask for some decent talks around here? You wouldn't know decent. I you. Sprouted wings, flew up your arse sideways, and laid a golden egg. Even after all that has happened, he still has the refines to seek out a horn of Svartal fame's finest. Right there. Come <laughs> 
special mead. Given the puddles on the floor, he must have taken a bath in it. There's some sign of Sindri here. A chain was placed here. From the scarring, something heavy was suspended from it. I've carried enough dwarves recently to know they are not as light as they look. This hammer bears the mark of Sindri, and here, the bag of roasted acorns. Some days ago, Sindri was captured while sneaking outside. He was dragged in here for interrogation. His belongings were seized. Even his roasted acorns, one of the many dwarven delicacies I will never fathom. They tried to loosen his tongue, using the same sweet mead he himself sought. Almost drowned him in it. But the shelter has not been raided. So Sindri must have remained strong and refused to give them its location. Instead, he was dragged away. Bloodied. Drunk as a fish. But alive. Most likely to face further tortures at a makeshift prison named Jan's Hoos. That is where I should go next. Come then, godly! <laughs> Get us up here! 
wish upon Loki, no matter his crimes. It's likely Sindri was brought here many days ago. I hope I'm not too late. My thanks, Raven. Bearer. Fate favor you, Raven Bearer. Sigil. 
Sindri, reckless fool, all this was a meat. Oh well, it is done. I must return the body to Brokia. Chance led to Sindri's capture, but the nature of his death, that was not chance. When the enemy realized they had such a prize in their clutches. Who is this you bring? No! It can't be! Master Broker, I share in your grief. Truly I do. Your brother was the worthiest of dwarves. More so than you will ever know. Oh, Sindri. No. No, my dear Sindri. The funeral arrangements are being made outside. I must use this chance to bend the broker to my will. I must speak with the broker. 